Hi, I'm Gavin Hunt, VP of Sales with Chris Craft, and I'm here with our VP of Engineering, Ron Berman. Today we're going to talk to you about our Calypso 35, which is all new for 2021. Ron, let's talk about the 35 and uh, just give me some of your first thoughts on the boat. Well, Gavin, this boat was designed to appeal to many different buyers. Um, we know from our consumers that they want to enjoy the outdoors, but they want a little weather protection, whether it's from the wind or if conditions you know, don't get ideal. And the Calypso 35 will provide an incredibly comfortable ride and the owner can control the environment they're in. And it's in large part due to the innovative windshield system that we've engineered into the boat. It provides wonderful weather protection, it's easy to use, and it is just beautiful to look at. Well, the boat, from an outside perspective, just giving it a three-quarter profile front or three-quarter profile rear, it's amazingly beautiful. And I remember in our original thoughts with our designer in Italy that, you know, one of our purposes was to see how we were going to make this boat look as good as a center console, but then have a dual console and all the functionality that goes with it. So I think you and your team and, and the design team have done an amazing job of making this boat beautiful. So why don't we climb aboard and go through and do a walk around of the boat from bow to stern and show our dealers and customers some of the beauties of this new Calypso 35. Ron and I are going to walk you through the new Calypso 35 from bow to stern. Starting at the uh, very tip of the boat, Ron, we did some innovative things with the anchor windlass and bow roller. Can you tell us a little about that new system that we've developed? So in addition to the beauty of the boat, there's a lot of deep engineering that went into creating this new model. And one of the things we focused on is a, a great way to install the windlass and the anchor roller and make it very robust and reliable and easy to use. So we've got an entirely new welded stainless steel bow roller and a stainless steel bridge system inside the anchor locker. Um, it provides a very strong installation and, and very premium look to it. Absolutely, I mean, it really cleaned up our anchor locker and just makes it look like a Chris Craft. And it, it's amazing what you guys have done. As we move into the boat, um, we, we climb aboard and we've got this new S-Tech covering boards and then the S-Tech synthetic teak aboard the boat. So we've added that over the last year, year and a half. Uh, can you tell us a little about how that came about and how the guys at Teak Decking have been able to provide us these new features? Sure. Well, as you mentioned, we have a great partner at Teak Decking and uh, we know everybody loves the beauty of teak, but a lot of people don't want to take care of it. And some of the coastal environments, maintaining teak is a lot of work. So working with Teak Decking, they created and sourced a product called S-Tech or Synthetic Teak. And this boat's equipped with it. It's got the beauty of teak. Um, it has really good reliability and durability. It can handle the elements with little to no maintenance. And this boat in particular is a standard edition we also offer the Heritage Trim Edition and the Heritage Edition. So uh, you Chris Craft dealers, you know those features. The full Heritage with the teak floor will be amazing on this boat as well. Uh, other features in the bow, uh, we're sitting in the bow of the 35 Calypso and you can see that we're both well inside the boat. It's a very deep bow area, but we were focused on the beauty, one, the comfort too and we made some decisions as far as the seating areas in the bow can you talk a little about those sure well you mentioned the depth of the bow people like to feel safe when they're riding in the boat so we focused on a nice deep bow but people also like to socialize in the bow so we've created this wonderful wraparound environment we've got plenty of seating for six adults up here we've got a table that comes up out of the floor so on a nice afternoon or evening if you want to gather around the table and have a glass of wine and watch a sunset the bow of the calypso 35 is a wonderful place to do that so in addition to comfort um, we also focused on our materials and craftsmanship that goes into the boat this particular model 
has our new accent vinyl in it. Carbonite. Carbonite, that's right. And it's a beautiful material. We've added it across the product line for model year 21. And with our wave quilting, we've repositioned it. We've got accent lighting below the bolsters, which is a full Lumashore system, so you can pick any color you want. Um, during the evening, you can create a really cool environment. In addition to being comfortable, the bow of the Calypso 35 has some really good functional details as well. When we approached the boat, we wanted to create luxurious soft cushions, um, like you'd find in a, a luxury bow rider, but we also wanted to provide utility so we created a new way to do bow cushions. So we, we covered cushions up front like we would on a traditional luxury bow rider, but they're on top of fiberglass lids. And if we open the cushion up we're sitting on, we would see a molded fiberglass backside with a gasket seal, which covers a massive amount of storage under the bow. There's actually four compartments under the seat cushions. And in the port aft corner behind the backrest, we've created a very large dedicated storage compartment for three fenders, four dock lines, and room for additional gear. So not only did we focus on the comforts and the enjoyment, but we built a lot of utility into the boat as well. That compartmentalized storage is amazing on this boat and, and the storage under the seats with hinged cushions makes it so easy to utilize. Another feature of the bow area is, of course, our sliding door that closes off the bow area and the opening windshield. So those are new technologies as well. Yep. So here at the helm, there's just a tremendous amount of features, benefits to talk about on this new Calypso 35. The, the helm area is C-Zone equipped, so it's truly a command center for the boat. So many things, Ron, and innovations in the boat. Standard with twin Garmin screens, yep. standard with the VHF radio. Uh, it, it's about, really a fully equipped helm station that you'd find in a, in, a, in a luxury yacht. Really is, and the visibility is amazing with the windshield. You know, the windshield on the boat was a big part of the discussions, and the dual curved windshield, which is curved top to bottom and side to side is a unique feature of this boat. It really makes it stand out. And the tailor-made group or the group that built the windshield, that's a, that's a big change, isn't it? Is it harder for them to make that type of windshield or? Well, the, the technology to produce this windshield system didn't exist when we started the project. And in addition to great weather protection, we focused on really good ergonomics and visibility from the helm. You're gonna notice the base of the windshield is relatively low, so that whether I'm standing at the helm or seated at the helm, I'm looking over a low dash, which makes visibility while you're cruising along phenomenal. Additionally, with the big panes of glass, um, that helps with visibility. And we've equipped this with standard wipers, and these are big, heavy-duty wipers with big blades that clean the area really well. One of the challenges of a boat like this is you got all this glass you got to look through. So we equipped it with a good wiper system and fresh water wash. The other thing you mentioned was the helm area. Um, dual Garmin screens, 16 inches, C-zone switching. Um, the boat, when you power it up, um, you can power it up from a key fob by turning the house batteries on from a remote key fob. You can turn lights on before you ever get on the boat, or you can go to the remote battery switches right next to the dive door to power all the systems up. While we're at the helm area, let's talk about details a bit more. The Calypso 35 has a beautifully designed dash, and the materials we built it out of are special. We've created a new wood, which is our dark walnut. It's a beautiful wood. It ties in beautifully with the uh, the black gel coat on the dash and the marine mat on top, which reduces glare. Um, and it's a new signature that wraps throughout the boat. It's a very durable material with the high gloss finish on it. Um, and then you'll notice we strategically placed storage areas like this little tray right here, which is perfect for setting a cell phone in. And the mat on top is a good place to put things as well. The other thing that's really great about this is our innovative windshield 
passageway to the valve. As you mentioned earlier, we work with tailor-made products and between our engineering team, our design team, and the engineers at Taylor, we created this innovative windshield system. At the touch of one button on the dash, you hit the button once and the windshield automatically opens. It goes up into the hardtop and latches itself into the hardtop so when you're out running, the windshield doesn't budge at all. It's, it's rock solid up there. So after you open the windshield, you can slide a, a pocket door to the side, another innovation on the Clipso 35. Um, it's a molded door on very high quality Harkin sailboat tracks, and it slides effortly into a pocket. There's no rattling, there's no door to stare at, it disappears into a pocket. Another wonderful innovation on this boat. So we had the other part of the equation was, you know, here in Florida, it's hot. And up in the north, it's cold. Yeah, so we, uh, we had a lot of discussions about how that was going to work. And I think our dealers are going to be interested in your opinion on, you know, generator, no generator, 12 volt air, the, the air conditioner that is a, literally a tropical air conditioner on this boat. So let's talk a little about the air conditioning system. And, and how we developed that and why we have three air conditioners. So we thought of the helm deck kind of as the helm deck on a yacht. And on many big yachts, 50, 60 footers, they have true AC and heat on the helm deck. You can be very comfortable even though you're air conditioning the world, but it takes a lot of AC capacity. So we engineered, working with our AC suppliers at Dometic, a very robust, 110 volt AC system. The helm deck features two 8,000 BTU units. We put two units in so that we can optimize the ducting and get the most efficiency out of it possible. So there's one under the port seat, there's one on the starboard seat, there's independent duct runs up the side of the boat. When you engineer air conditioning system, the least amount of ducting and the fewest number of bends give you the best performance. We also strategically place vents um, there's one at the helm, there's one in the aft end of the pocket, and then we've got vents below the windshield that um, surround the occupants with cool air. So you get, you feel it, but it, it's more of a feeling of the environment. The other thing that's really good about the 110 system is for some of our customers up north or people that want to extend the boating system, it's a reverse cycle system, um, so it'll put heat out. So we offer an optional drop curtain that goes right behind the helm seats. With the drop curtain in place and this system running, uh, customers in climates where the water doesn't freeze, they can almost boat year round. So the 110 system really gives you good flexibility for warm climates, cool climates. The 12 volt system gives you some cool air in the cabin in the head and some at the helm um, but it's not going to give you the performance you get out of 16,000 BTUs of air conditioning on the helm deck. It's about three and a half, so it gives you a bit of a cool feeling. So of the, of the first many orders that we've gotten, we've sold almost all of them with the generator and uh, this air conditioning system. So it, it's yeah. a great way to spec the boat. Um, that, that feature, that benefit of of the comfort at the helm is amazing on this boat. And another system on the boat, which is new to Chris Craft and not new to boating, but is our Sea Keeper. And, uh, you know, the, the Sea Keeper was designed for this particular model so that it's right at the center of gravity of the boat. And, and tell us about the testing that was done by the Sea Keeper team and your team when you, when you first bought, brought this out. So one of the good things about this boat is putting a Sea Keeper in it, and this one has a Sea Keeper SK2 12 volt gyro in it, is we are able to design the boat from the beginning to accept the Sea Keeper. So we could have the right structure in the boat, we could place it properly, um, and we could design the supporting systems very efficiently for this boat. So standing right, right below where we're standing, under a hatch is where the Sea Keeper goes and this particular boat has it. Um, the structural grid in the boat is designed for the Sea Keeper. So every boat that comes out of the mold has all the structure in it necessary for the, the gyro. 
Um, and working closely with Seakeeper, we optimized the design. And through our testing, um, we, we found we had 89% roll reduction with the SK2, which is right where you want to be. So we've got an optimized structure and optimized configuration for the gyro, and it performs to meet the specifications um, that provide a great day on the water. I know initially you were a bit skeptical about the Seakeeper, but after trying it, I think you were pretty impressed. Oh, it's it's uh, it's absolutely you know it's a little over forty thousand dollar option on the boat, which certainly is a price point discussion, and some of our dealers are ordering it with the Sea Keeper, and some of them are, um, you know, when we designed it, the hatch is large enough to where we could install yeah. it after the fact. So um, it, it's a great design, innovative, and and a, and a new way to to get things done. So um, the cabin on the boat is um, a cabin that's designed, it would sleep too. Um, it's air conditioned, has the TV with the HDMI hookups. Um, and we added some cabinetry in there and a new slide out system. I, I, I really love the, the design of the, the added, what would you say, the slide out? The filler. Uh, the filler. Yeah. And we, we have a head, the head when we, when we talked about how we wanted it to do, we, we, we said we're going to make it a wet head. So what, what does that mean really in, in the thought process? So we, we designed the interior of the head so a customer if they wanted to go in there and take a shower they could. Um, maybe they spent a day on the water and they want to pull up to a waterfront restaurant and want to rinse off. They can go in the head, put up a supplied curtain and we have a separate mixer and shower wand in the head, which puts out a really nice stream of water. The flooring is Aztec synthetic teak as well. So the flooring can get wet and there are no issues. So uh, that's why we call it a wet head. And the helm chairs are new on the Calypso 35. Um, we have the walnut um, integrated into the back. Uh, but there's also a new armrest, and that hardware is amazing. Yeah. Well, as I look around the industry, we build the best helm seats. I, I don't think that's even a discussion. And on the Calypso 35, we, we elevated it further with our new stainless steel armrests. We took our, our really good helm seat, we added additional hardware to it um, to create comfortable and beautiful, very robust armrests that hinge up out of the way. You'll notice how the design blends with the seat, so when they're up, they match the curves of the seat, but when they're down, they provide that comfort that you'd like on a long cruise. The other features as we move back in the boat, um, we go towards the cockpit galley, and the cockpit galley top and the front doors are new also for us this year, and we actually included a trash receptacle, so the team really put yep. their head into this one. Well, we thought about how people boat, right? So when you go on the boat, you need to store things, you need cold things, and you inevitably make garbage. So we provided drawer storage, storage under the, the top, and a trash can in the cockpit galley, and it can be equipped with an optional electric grill. So the Calypso 35 presented a unique situation on how to design canvas for a boat like this. So we designed a dedicated bow mooring cover, which is standard. To protect the helm area, we needed to keep the sun out of the helm area for when the boat stored for a long time. So we took a cue again from big yachts and we created windshield shades. And they wrap from the back pillar all the way around the front to the other back pillar. Um, and we designed the windshield with a groove at the back end. So you literally press a seal into the groove and there's almost no snaps putting the windshield shade on. The boat is also standard with helm seat covers and a lounge cover. And if the customer wants, they can add an aft curtain or they can add a drop curtain that creates an enclosed helm area. And everything beautifully integrates into the windshield system. The cockpit seating on the Calypso 35 is really convertible to, to meet so many needs. Uh, some of the new innovations, Ron, are, are 
amazing. Can you talk a little about the new seat backs that we've designed for Calypsos and Catalinas? Sure. Well, as you can see, we've got wraparound seating that literally wraps around all sides of the cockpit, starting with the port lounge, coming down the port side and across the back. And on this boat, we focus a tremendous amount on comfort. High seat backs, deep fold out seats. We actually design new hardware to get the seats to come out further. And one of the other innovations we worked on was a way to get fold out seats on the side of the boat to have higher backrests. So there's a lot of complicated gadgets out there to make things do this, but we took a fairly simplistic and purposeful approach. We created a lift up backrest it comes up, we design new hardware into the bottom of the fold-out seat, and it's just very easy to come out. And now you've got a nice deep seat and a nice high backrest, so everyone can be comfortable in the cockpit. And the beauty of our seating is, if you want a wide open space, you fold it all the way, and the back of the cockpit is wide open for entertaining or fishing. So the new audio system on the 35 Calypso is amazing. I've been able to experience it, and you know, we. As we walk through the design of it, our team, the team, and our team, um, the team at JL Audio, have helped us custom design an amazing system. So, tell us a little about how we got to two subwoofers and and huge amplifiers, and you know what happened. We we went we went ballistic on this one. Well, you know, people love quality audio um, in our cars. There's premium audio in our homes. We install great sound, so you need it on the boat. And to do that, it's about having enough power and having the right speakers in the right positions to create great sound. So with the premium audio option on the Calypso 35, we have a bow subwoofer and a subwoofer in the main cockpit. We have four speakers in the underside of the hard top and the two forward actually reflect off the windshield to send sound to the bow area two speakers in the bow, two more in the cockpit, and two at the transom. They are all independent zones, so you can control the zone separately on the Fusion Apollo source unit. Um, and it just sounds incredible, and that's in large part to the guys at JL who came in with microphones, set up in the boat and tuned the audio system, and we program the amps before the boat leaves. So the customer or the dealer doesn't need to worry about that. It leaves the factory set up the way it should be, tuned by a professional. We completely rethought the way we do dive doors, uh, from the deck and hall structure to the way the door is integrated. It starts with a nice cast stainless steel handle, a, a place for storing a dock line, and it's very easy to use. Undo the nice stainless handle, swing it open, it attaches to a magnet, and here you can see the new structure. So the painted portion is actually molded as part of the hull. The white is molded as part of the deck. And there's a big area where the two are bonded together. This helps us eliminate the stainless steel trim on the outside and creates a really good structure. Additionally, if you're using the dive ladder, we've incorporated a pull-out handle, which simply pulls out here. So when the ladder's deployed and you come up the ladder, you've got a nice handle to grab. And it simply pushes in and disappears. As the dive door ladder, Ron, is also new for this year and it uh, clips in, it's smooth. We don't have to have an extra hatch under there Correct. that can collect water. This, this, is, this is truly innovative and uh, really great accessibility. There's so much wonderful things about this boat that you know you really got to get on board to uh, really experience it. Well, the the boat has such an amazing feel, and the overall experience on the boat is that of a yacht, and it, it's a day yacht, and the the boat has such a great deck layout. There's not steps; it's all at one level, and the visibility is amazing. Um, thank you for all the innovation that's in this boat. And uh, we look forward to getting them out on the water in as many dealerships as possible. Thank you for taking the time to walk through the 35 Calypso. We're really excited to take this boat to market as this is the world premiere of this new boat. So Ron, 
I just got to thank you and your team for what you guys have done, put this boat together, all of the little engineering ideas and innovations that we've put into this boat. Uh, thank you guys so much for bringing this beautiful boat to the market. You got anything to say about the team and, and how they came together in your collaboration? Yeah, you know, this boat is the result of the entire Chris Craft team working together to create a product that has wonderful customer features, great weather protection, uh, wonderful ride quality out of the hull, um, and an elevated product from a f materials fit and finish standpoint. It's not one department at Chris Craft that does that, it's our entire team, and it's been a pleasure developing this boat, and we look forward to hearing about wonderful stories from our owners who buy one and enjoy it. Thank you, Chris Craft dealers and customers. Enjoy the Calypso 35.